Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Today I'm going to show you how to do an old chemical experiment known as a tree of Saturn or a lead crystal tree. Now, Saturn was the alchemical name for lead. And just like its silver counterpart, which was grown on a copper wire, lead is grown on a strip of zinc placed in a lead acetate solution. The first reference I found to this was in an 1882 high school chemical chemistry book. And it gave me a little picture along with a small um, information on it. And again, in a 1947 issue of Popular Science. So I was quite pleased when my experiment turned out to look just like that. Now, to make this solution, I dissolved 10 grams of lead acetate in 100 milliliters of water. And to this, I added a small amount of zinc that I melted along with a brass nut because brass contains some zinc. You can see that the zinc instantly blackens as it's forming lead crystals on there. That are becoming apparent by two minutes in. And by five minutes in, I notice a lot of small crystal faces on it. This is called the single displacement reaction. What's happening here is the lead acetate is reacting with the zinc to form zinc acetate and elemental lead, which deposits in the form of small crystals, which over time grow out to larger crystals and kind of form a branch like and tree like shape. And that's how it gets the name Tree of Lead. Energy, Ancient alchemists used to think that this proved that metal was alive because it spontaneously grew in, in the shape of a tree. Now, 24 develops in, 24 hours later, my tree is well developed. And it has lots of big bright crystals on it, but the problem is they're kind of weak and they're fragile. You can see them swaying in the water and... I tried to take the tree out of water to kind of preserve it and save it, but when I did that, all of the leaves melted down, and it was hard to retain its original shape, as you see here. Although it does look cool, lead quickly oxidizes in air to form a gray or white um, coating of lead oxide on it. Now I tried this again with a penny, and I tried to put it on the bottom of the beaker, but instead, growing up, it just forms a flat mass of small crystals. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I just broke a 1,000 subscribers, and that's really awesome. Keep watching my videos. Keep subscribing. It makes me really happy to do this. And check out the description for the full text of the uh, books I mentioned. It's really cool. There's a lot of neat things in there. Bye, guys.